Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm a little bit of a mess as you can tell. Well, five o'clock shadow because we're out camping. But today I want to show you this camping fridge we got. Now I didn't just buy this thing and do an unboxing video to try to sell you a fridge. We've had this thing for a year now and this one is made by Massimo. I believe that's how it's pronounced. It was originally sold just by Costco and now it's available on Amazon I've noticed. But we've had it for a year. We've knocked it around in the desert. You see right here in the middle of the Bajavi Desert here. So we've knocked around in the desert, we brought it camping, we've had it in our toy haul, we've even brought it on vacation and in hotel rooms. So let me show you this thing. It's a great alternative to some of the ARB fridges, the ones that'll cost you north of seven, eight, nine hundred dollars We picked this thing up for, I believe it was around 300. We have the largest of the sizes. They have smaller ones that are cheaper, but you can get this thing for less than half the cost of an ARB fridge. And it really does everything you'd need it to do. So let's check it out. Now this thing is an actual refrigerator. There are other ones that are not refrigerators. They just run a little, uh, plate in there that helps transfer the heat out of it. I'm blanking on what it's called. I'm going to put it down here somewhere when i get home to edit i can't remember what those things are called but those things suck up a lot of juice and if you're running it off of something like a battery it's not going to last that long this one is a true refrigerator you can see in there there's an actual compressor and you can hear the thing humming away when it's in use and when you come up here see how well this thing shows up in the sun you can actually set the temperature and i can set it i can set it way below freezing and now if you listen real carefully You can actually hear it kicking back on. Now, I obviously, I don't want to freeze my sodas and whatnot, so I'm going to bring it back up to a... ...41, where I had it. Right now, inside it, I'll show you what we've got. We have just have drinks in it, some milk, some cheese, some other perishables, and we've been out on the trail now for two days, into camp and out onto the trail, and this thing has been working awesome the whole time, like I said. Now, right now, I have it powered off of this, this is a battery pack. You don't need one of these. It runs off a regular 12 volt. Let me show you around the back side of it. Runs off of a regular 12 volt, plug it into your cigarette lighter in the car plug. And you can also plug it into your house. It comes with a 110 if you want to plug it into the house. So if you want to chill the thing down before you get out on the trail or go camping or on your road trip or whatever you're doing, cool it down in the house, bring it out of the car, plug it into the car. Now, what's great about one of these batteries, and I got a video about this one and actually a smaller battery too, is you can run it when the car's not on. This thing ran all night, just depleted 4% of the battery over the course of the night. So you can run this thing pretty much indefinitely if you plug it into the battery and then plug the battery into the 12 volt of the car. Now, this is how we usually have it set up if there's just the two of us in the truck in the front seat. Um, we can fit a third person in the back with this thing if the person's sitting on the left, but you can also ride in the bed of the truck. I just like being able to go down the road and grab drinks from the front seat if we're rolling down the road. I do have it strapped in so it doesn't bounce around too much while we're going down the trail, though. Now, with the sun and all the reflection, it's kind of hard to get it on the camera, but you can see here the output. This thing's putting out 50 watts of output, and it's pulling in 44 from the solar panel. I'll show you that in a second up on the roof of the truck. Now, it only pulls this periodically. I'd say this thing runs for probably 10 minutes every hour. So you can see with this battery, if it's even pushing it, it'll still run it for 30 for it fluctuates depending on what it's pulling. But it says about 34 hours on average, but that's only 10 minutes per hour. So you can really get about a week out of one of these batteries, especially if it's plugged in to any sort of a solar charger or if you're running it in the car charging up the 12 volts that's a good option but the other thing i've noticed is if you unplug this thing we've put this thing in our trailer driven all the way to camp three four hours out and when we get out it's only gone up two or three degrees in temperature so you could cool it down in the house put it in your car or in your trailer drive it where you're going bring it inside plug it back in so it's great for road trips not just camping now this is just another gizmo that we've got. We have a solar panel that we can point straight at the sun and it charges the battery. Now, like I said, this is not needed, but it does give us the ability to pretty much run the fridge in camp indefinitely without having to plug it into the truck to keep the fridge cool. You don't need this, but it is a nice option. And I do have a link to a video with more info about this battery and the solar setup if it's something you are interested in. So I hope this video helped you out. Um, this is a great option for camping, road trips, off-road, kind of you name it, even emergencies, because you can plug this into your car and keep your stuff cold if you have to get stuff out of the freezer in a power outage. And it does get cold very fast. A lot of the other ones, you have to chill it for hours. This thing within probably 15, 20 minutes is down to temperature. So if this video helped you out, it'll give me a great big thumbs up. Let me know what kind of stuff you carry with you camping down below in the description, and I'd be happy to talk about other stuff here on the channel. Up next, 
we're going to be also having a AeroPress video and a little tiny camp stove video. So check those out, hit that subscribe button because those are going to be coming up on the channel soon. And of course, thanks for watching.